Before the recent Battlefield Hardline beta, there were a couple of clear messages being conveyed by the community. One being that Hardline was a bad move, and that many saw the game as a further diluting step of the Battlefield name. And the other, that it was something new and exciting, allowing the franchise to branch off into a new area. After the beta, both of those sides were still hard at war with each other. People shouting that Hardline is too infantry focused and it's lost some of its core values from what makes a Battlefield game a Battlefield game. And the other, singing its praises, saying it's the most stable and fun Battlefield for a long time. Both sides have very good points and both are extremely passionate about the games they play and the games that they want to see in the future. And that is where the issue arises. The community is currently split. Now, I don't necessarily view that as a bad thing, and I'll be honest here, I think it should be seen as a good thing, and here's why. Battlefield has evolved in the last five, six, seven years maybe. It's no longer a franchise that it was back in Battlefield 2 and 1942. It's brought faster gameplay, a new game engine, attracted a much larger following, and this has changed the whole course of the system. But what hasn't changed is the approach to development, marketing, and implementation. Each game has been focused on war, whether in a diluted form like Bad Company or the more realistic version that we've seen in Battlefield 3, and each game has been advertised as such, as a war title. But the style of game behind that focus has changed quite a lot. What I'm trying to say is that it's like someone who's recently lost a lot of weight trying to wear the same clothes they wore when they were £350. The game underneath is evolving, but the brand was still focused as ever on the original system. Bad Company started this evolution, a break away from the harsh war shooters we were used to, where a single player comedic campaign was introduced. The transformation had begun. Then came its successor, Bad Company 2, where that silly, informal style of battle was continued. Many argue that this game is now one of the best in the franchise, and I think that's totally subjective. It depends on whether you like change or not. Many did, and, and many people didn't. That change gave birth to like a, a dedicated cult following, who now long for that final part of the trilogy, Bad Company 3. DICE are yet to deliver it, but they're open to the idea of doing it one day. Then comes along Battlefield 3, billed as a true successor to Battlefield 2, or so many thought anyway. The faster paced gameplay of Bad Company, as seen so often in a competing franchise as well, had sort of made its way into the game. What this did is create even more divide and union at the same time within the community. Many new players came in who liked that faster paced gameplay where weapons downed you in a relatively short space of time as opposed to previous titles. Things got brutal, fast and direct. Many thought the tactical element of the game of previous titles had been lost and there was less of a focus on team play than ever and thought it was all about a grind for kills. Battlefield 3, as I said, was billed as BF2's successor, but it was far from that. The developers had used a mainline Battlefield title to introduce a whole new style to the franchise. They didn't use a semi-spin-off like Bad Company, they embedded it into the mainstream Battlefield title. Battlefield 4 tried to make a return to the older style titles, but ultimately failed. Not only that it didn't really mimic the older titles in any way, it was more of an iteration of Battlefield 3 than anything else, but that it was so broken on release that many people just dropped it like a dead weight. Poor optimization on the new generation of consoles, lack of functioning network connection code, and an overall sense that the game was rushed, left a sour taste in many people's mouths. The developers were still trying to implement this faster, quicker, more run and gun, lone wolf style gameplay into a game where the community expected a return to the old days and the old way of doing things. And this is where Hardline comes in. New idea, new direction, new developers, new game. A proper spin-off. This has arguably upset the community even more than any other release in the Battlefield franchise in the past. 
Those of you out there who were aware of the original Bad Company announcement will know of the backlash then, but considering the community is even bigger now, Hardline has created even more of an issue. But the difference with Battlefield Hardline is that it isn't trying to disguise itself as a war shooter. Sure, you could argue it's war on crime, but really, it's a straight up cops and robbers shooter. It doesn't pretend to be something it isn't. It's a fast paced, infantry centric shooter that truly is spun off from the mainline Battlefield formula. What makes it such a great spin off though, is that it does still retain a lot of the features that people know and love from the main series. You've got larger open maps with vehicle gameplay implemented, game modes like Conquest and Team Deathmatch are still there, helping to make you feel a little bit more at home. Destruction, although limited in the beta maps we played, is still present in other maps like The Block and Hollywood Heights. Weapons that give you that battle feel, like the M16A3 making a return after two years absence, and those are just some of the things that we can mention. Epic moments happen all the time, especially in the new Hotwire game mode, and everybody loves those battlefield moments. All of this is understandably why people are torn over the game. It retains a whole load of battlefield staples, but it puts it into a totally new environment, and it doesn't try to hide it. This is why people are split. It's offering them a battlefield game, but not one that they are used to. It's a spin-off title at the end of the day, and I see a spin-off as taking core values from the original series and implementing them into a new sort of idea. And I think that is exactly what Visceral have done. Now, nearly 7 million people logged time in the recent beta. 7 million. That's more than the Destiny beta pulled in. And that was built to be the first proper next-gen first-person shooter. Hardline's a game that no one expected to do well. No one expected anything special. But considering the controversy it has actually caused, it's created itself a hype storm. Whether it's the people downing the game for not being a proper Battlefield title, or the ones jumping up and down because they've had a great game of Hotwire or, or Heist, people are paying attention to this game, whether they like it or not. Thank you very much for watching. If you could leave me a rating and a comment, that'd be fantastic. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.